is the actual role of data in human resources? Where does the data begin and end and where does the human piece begin and end? I'm going to give two answers to that. First, well, three answers. First, data is not new in human resources. You know in your work at Macy's and Chris knows that good human resources has been an evidence base for decades. We know that. But I think we've seen, part one, a four-step evolution in the way we use data. One is we do it for balanced scorecards and we try to say, what does HR do? I did a book called Balanced Scorecards with some great colleagues 20 years ago. Today, that book should be thrown away. It should be taught at Michigan State. Number two, we use the data for insights. So we call through a cloud set of data. We get insights about employees or their behavior. Number three, we use data for intervention. Should we hire A, B, C, or D? Should we train A, B, C, or D? And number four, we use data for business impact. My sense is that we've got to get data from a scorecard, which is kind of an activity, how many people got 40 hours of training, to insights, to intervention, to impact. And Dick Beatty at Rutgers talks about that. The goal of data is not the HR data. It's the data that will have impact on customers and on investors. The second hand is there's two types of data in the world, and this gets directly to your question. You would know this having your experience in retail. One is what's called structured data or statistics. It comes in a spreadsheet. I can do the analytics. I get all the data. I do my regressions. I do my statistics, and I get insights, intervention, and impact. The second kind of data is called unstructured data. It's observation. It's anthropology. It's what you observe, what you feel. In Macy's, I assume you had a lot of structured data. Here's the data. Here's what sales here what's not, but you also had unstructured data. And I think in HR, we sometimes right now are too gaga over structured data. Give me the statistics. Well, sometimes it's the unstructured data that gives me the insights, the intervention, and ultimately the impact. Matt, I know that you do a lot of work around data as well. Is there anything you would add there? Are you going to ask me to follow Dave Ulrich with a comment on data? <laughs> not, o- not only am I going to ask you to do that, but this is live and being filmed. <laughs> My mom's going to be so proud. Um, We've talked about data a few times. I think we've talked about balancing humanity and the qualitative, quantitative conversation. Um, And I think what I would say, and I had a discussion with somebody yesterday, we were just having a quick networking call. The game has changed around data. So 15 years ago, you could monetize information in a really meaningful way. You could write a white paper, submit it, and then get you know, monetize that that particular product. Today, information is so ubiquitous that it is very inexpensive to produce and very inexpensive to acquire. And the fact is that there's more data and information out there than most of us and most HR departments know what to do with. So it's not an issue of not being able to grab the data, it's making sense of the data you actually have. So when people ask me, how does HR need to interact with data going forward? I totally agree with what Dave is saying. And I would add one more piece, which is, I think the skill sets in the future are really threefold. The first one is, synthesization, which is to take a lot of information and boil it down to really simple, complex ideas. Number two is curation, which is to put those small ideas in some sort of sequence that makes sense. Uh, And the third one is storytelling, which is to tell that in a very compelling way to drive an action, to drive a decision, to drive a result. I think nowadays, if I'm looking for skill sets from HR professionals, it's can you take disparate forms of data, large sums of information, and find a mechanism to distill it, curate it, and then share it with the audience. Can I just, and I know you have a lot of questions, and this isn't a show just on data or people hang up quickly, but um, <laughs> but I think the way to get those three, and I really like simplify, curate, and uh, storytelling, is to start with the impact. What will this data do to help me sell a product to a customer? What will this data do to build an investor confidence in my firm? And if we start from the outside in, the impact of what we're going to do, they don't want to hear a lot of stuff that's simple. They want it to be curated and focused, and they want it to be anecdotal and real. And so I really like those three uh, pieces, Matt. And I think we get there to some extent, we get there better. I'm going to steal those, by the way, that'll be on LinkedIn next week. Um, <laughs> not, not for all. Matt, Matt, you can, you can go home now. Yeah, I'm done. But I think we get there by focusing not on the data, but on the impact the data might have on a, on a stakeholder we care about. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, please like comment and share so that others can benefit from the great knowledge and experience. See you tomorrow.